coming destruction of the Hawaiian Islands. You say, really? I'm going to read to you from the King James Bible today. I'm going to show you that this is actually a prophetic event that's going to be happening in the future. Um, with all the stuff that's going on down there, this volcanic eruption and all the fissures and all this stuff and the sulfur dioxide coming out and everything else, uh, is it going to get better or worse? Well, if the Bible's right, it's going to get a lot worse. Let me read to you here. Revelation chapter 16, verse 17 through 21. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunderings and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. You know, I've seen a lot of geologists, and they're saying that there could be a massive mega earthquake coming at some point in time in the future. I mean, each time you have earthquakes, it's shaking things up in the different you know, plates and whatever else there that they're saying, uh, things are getting worse and worse. You know, they got over in Africa, they got these huge big cracks forming and, and I mean, it's the possibility of a mega earthquake is not out of the realm of science. If you study it out, it's quite possible to have a mega earthquake. And the Bible tells you what's going to happen as a result. Verse 19, and the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. You can read about that great Babylon there in chapter 17 and 18. If you study it out, it's the Roman Catholic Church. But look at verse 20. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. So it's followed by hail. I mean, it's a very bad time that's coming in the future. But notice verse 20. Every island fled away. What's the future of the Hawaiian Islands? Well, in this time period that's coming, when the book of Revelation is being fulfilled completely, they're going to flee away. They're not going to be, in the, it says about the mountains, they're not going to be found. I believe the oceans are going to come up, in other words. And it's, you know, quite be, possibly could be some massive eruption or whatever, this big earthquake, and they could just down into the ocean. They're going to flee away. Hmm. Um, a lot of people out there, they laugh at this book. They mock this book. And they say, oh, it's just fairy tales and whatever else. Um. And yet, as time goes by, we're seeing more and more things pointing towards the fulfillment of this. Um, earth changes. They say about pole shifts and, and all kinds of climate change and all the others. Uh, there's going to be some real bad stuff in the future. And some of the scientists out there are starting to figure out some of this stuff and starting to look at models for the future. And they're going, uh-oh, um, things don't look very good right now. And it's ironic that Science is just starting to catch up with what the Bible said is going to happen in the future. You say, well, I don't think it's going to get that bad. I don't think it's going to get that bad. It's just, you know, there's always been things in the past, and it's always been kind of bad and whatever else. Um, but, but what if it's so? And there's a whole lot more I could say on this subject, but I'm just trying to keep this thing short just as a little bit of a warning. If you're on an island, the Bible says here in Revelation chapter 16, verse 20, Every island is going to flee away. Um, there's one chance to get out of this time period that's coming. Read the book of Revelation and all the horrible stuff that's happening with wars and famines and you know disease and all kinds of stuff. There's one chance to get out of this thing. And that's true salvation right now while the body of Christ is still on the earth. True Christians, born-again Christians, there's very few of us, okay? You listen to the, you hear the word Christian, you think up Catholics and people that go to church buildings and whatever else. Um, no, all right? We're not talking about that. I'm talking about born again Christians, people that have had a changed life, um, supernatural change in their life, um, people that love the Word of God, that understand the book. Um, there's very few of us out there. But if you want to be, you know, see some things about the future, get a King James Bible. Don't waste your time on any of the other ones. This is a different Bible from a different part of the world than the, a lot of the other Bibles out there. This is the only real one uh, in the English 
speaking world. But get a King James Bible and read it. And I'll tell you what, the best way to prepare for the future is to get saved. And Lord, when He comes and he, the Bible teaches that He's going to be coming for His bride and catching up the church. Uh, you know, the church is symbolized as, as a bride in Scripture. Again, there's a lot of studies here, but you don't need to worry about a lot of that stuff if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. But at some point in time, the Lord is going to be catching uh, the church up, the truly saved church up, before His judgment is poured out. And Revelation is about that judgment that's coming. And um, I suggest you look into it. There's plenty of videos I've done on what's called the pre-trib rapture, um, proving, absolutely proving, that the body of Christ is going to be leaving before the time of Jacob's trouble. 100% proven fact. Um, true biblical salvation, what is it? There's a lot of videos on that in this channel. And um, stuff about the King James Bible, defending the King James Bible, why this is the true word and the others are not. I don't just run my mouth and just talk and then not provide the facts to back up what I'm saying. Okay. Um, you better get something a little bit more permanent than this earth is what I'm trying to say. So uh, all the geologists and all the other people and everything else can tell you that I, th I think things will go back to being good and whatever else. Uh, not if the Bible is true. If the Bible is true, uh, things are going to get a lot worse to the point where there will be no Hawaiian islands or any other island out there. Uh, they're going to flee away in the future. Uh, you might want to get your relationship with the Creator, God, um, get that figured out soon. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.